Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut this shape out. So we're going to practice cutting some straight lines, some slightly curved lines and some wavy lines, and also cutting an internal shape out of some wood. So go and get yourself a bit of scrap wood and use one of the templates. Pop the template on there and draw around it. Now, no cheating. There should be a gap between here. Use a pencil, you should always mark out on wood with a pencil, not a pen, and not a coloured pencil either. Right, so we've got it all the way around that. There we go. And we're going to use a coping saw. Now, we're going to use a coping saw for these lines and a tenon saw for those lines. Uh, the reason being, tenon saws are fab for straight lines, coping saws are brilliant for curved lines. So, first of all, I'm um, just going to cut these off with a tenon saw. Now, you saw Mr. Thomas's video about that, so I think we can possibly come back to this a moment in a moment. Once I okay, so I've cut this off with my tenon saw and did my straight lines, and now I'm going to put this in the vise and I'm going to do the curved lines. So, I'm going to try and get it as close to the bottom of the vise as possible. Make sure that the pencil lines are marked on the inside on my side so I can see what I'm doing. So, first of all, I'm going to cut this one down here. So, taking my coping saw, I'm going to make sure that the blade isn't twisted and that it's nice and tight. Um, if it's twisted, then go and grab yourself another one. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off and I'm going to have this at an angle. I'm trying to follow the path here. Now, when I say an angle, I mean this bit tipped, not like that, as some of you like to cut. So, I'm aiming for this blade to be parallel with this at all times. So, two hands on your coping saw, either two on the handle, or one on the handle and one on the frame. Backwards and forwards, tipping this up as we go to go down through that curve. curve cut off and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start cutting this curve down here. Now it doesn't matter which way around you start it but you're going to put it in, lay down in the vise again. It might help that it goes out the side, no it probably won't actually, we might have to move this. So clamp it up nice and tight and we're going to start cutting like this. So we're going to use a similar sort of technique. So the blade is parallel with this part of the vise and we're tipping it using two hands following so I'm tipping it up towards the table now and then gently back it may mean that you need to saw slower to get around the curves you've uh, finished cutting it out you should end up with something like that so what we're going to show you now is we're going to show you how to cut this internal slot out of the piece of wood so next thing we need to do is go over to the pillar drill so I'm going to put the drill in and I'm going to drill in all four of the corners here here and so on so first of all I'm just going to adjust the clamp and clamp it in There's there we go right now I need to change my position so we will rotate it backwards so we get to the corner there we go that'll do we don't want it to actually touch those lines, we want it to actually just sort of be slightly in between. You need to make sure that the guard is down, don't ever operate your drill without the guard down. And then turn it on and drill right away. through. 
once we've done that, we're going to then take this out and drill the other corners. Right, so you've now got four holes drilled in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the coping saw blade out of the holder. We're going to thread it through, put it back together again. Now, the best way of doing this is holding this part next to the handle together so that it doesn't rotate and then spin the handle towards your body. You should feel that loosen off. You don't want to take the handle completely off, but you want it to be quite loose. Then, very carefully, you want to take the pins out of the location part here, remove it, possibly, without even taking the whole thing out, you want to put this through. There we go. Pop that back into its slot there. Hold that together and then twist that against your body to tighten it up. Now, if you'd done it the right way round, you'd be able to see what you were sawing, but I've done this backwards. So, what we're going to do is tighten that up, and then we're going to saw down. Now, luckily, I can see over the top of it and see the line I need to saw. Once we get there, lift it out the vise. Pop it in. It's all done. Okay, so I've now cut mine out. It has come out. Um, so what you would do with this is you would file it up. Um, so that's, that's for another video. Um, but to take this out, obviously, you can't just pull it out. It's not going to come out. You have to do exactly the same as you did when you put it in. So first of all, rotate this towards your body whilst holding these bits tight. When it starts to loosen off, you should be able to carefully remove the blade. Now this time, it might possibly be a bit warm because of the friction. It's a bit fiddly as well. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Maybe it needs a little bit more loosening off. There we go, whoops. Now the blade's come out completely. So if that happens, which it might do, what you need to do is find the location pin, which is there, and poke it in there. And then very carefully, without cutting your fingers, do the same on the other end, hold it together and tighten it up. To tighten it up, you twist it away from yourself. Now you need to make sure that you tighten it right up until you can't tighten it anymore. And you need to make sure that your blade is not twisted. When it's done, you should be able to get a musical note. And that is one of those done.